examples of some of the projects that we work on over here. Um, now, the core of the vision of this center of excellence is being able to allow machines to process information in context. And the context for us is a rich knowledge base of facts, the entities that are in a domain and how they are related to each other. For example, the fact that Apple is a company and that Steve Jobs is the CEO of Apple. Now, where might one get such a rich knowledge base of facts from? You could look to domain experts and have them build this for you. Or you could look to legacy systems and databases that already have this information. Or you could look to online documents that already mention these rich facts about the domain. Some of our work in this area focuses on harvesting community knowledge from sources like Wikipedia and scientific corpora to extract conceptual models of a domain. A lot of this work has been conducted in collaboration with HP Research Labs, who are also running a beta testing of a commercial version of this work uh, called taxonome.com. Here's an example of a human performance and cognition ontology, or a domain model, that was built from Wikipedia using our techniques. This domain model is actually being used in a project by the Human Effectiveness Directorate at the AFRL next door. Now, when you have such rich information about a domain model, one of the most exciting applications that you can provide on top of it is knowledge discovery. How can you use information that you already know in order to uh, discover new information that you did not know existed? Our work in this space uh, utilizes semantic information from domain models, such as the UMLS, uh, Unified Medical Language System, to guide user interaction when they're browsing with biomedical literature using entities from these domain models and the relationships between these entities as a focal point of browsing, we're able to capture such rich navigation trails, uh, such as the one that you're seeing, and use it to identify documents that have this data, potentially something that you did not know previously existed. Another area where we extensively employ domain knowledge is in interpreting sensor data. Today there are about 40 billion sensors on the ground and about 4 million humans armed with mobile phones exchanging text messages and pictures. Uh, consequently, around any event, there's a lot of data being produced by all of these sensors. And if you want to understand what information from which sensor correlates with which event and how this information comes together, the blended understanding of how the event progresses, you need to analyze all of this data. Our work in this space uses domain models to um, even identify where sensors are located and subsequently gather and process data from these sensors for the end goals of situation awareness and sense making. The last project that uh, I wanted to tell you about was our work on understanding social data of the kinds that you see on Facebook and Twitter. So around any uh, newsworthy event today, of the hundreds and thousands of messages that we post online, we want to be able to get to the most important information, to the breaking news, uh, to the multiple narratives that surround an event, and we want to be able to separate factual opinion, factual posts from opinions. And we want to be able to do all this preserving, while we preserving the local and social perceptions that exist behind the data. Twitter's is uh, our attempt towards this direction in helping you keep up with the citizen sensor observations that are made online um, in order to understand what people are talking about, uh, from which location, and at what time. Before I hand over the microphone to Professor Raymer, I'm going to leave you with a short, fun demo of this web application. Thank you, and enjoy. Thank you for trying Twitter's. Twitris is a semantic web application that allows users to browse the web using emerging social perceptions as the fulcrum. Twitris employs a three-dimensional spatial, temporal, and thematic analysis of tweets surrounding real-time events such as the healthcare debate in the US, the recent tsunami in Southeast Asia, or even celebrity gossip. Twitris extracts meaningful meta tags from social observations and pulls together related news and Wikipedia articles to give you a quick summary of what people are talking about, from where and when. Twitter's is available at twitters.google.com. Once you launch the application, pick an event of interest from the available categories. In this demo, we will pick the healthcare debate and show you aggregated social signals emerging in the different states of the US. 
States that have at least 50 or more tweets on a particular day are marked with pushpins on the map. Clicking on a pushpin opens the backlog for that particular state. For instance, let us look at Indiana on the 19th of August. The tab cloud here shows us a quick summary of chatter on that day via extracted descriptors. Critris allows you to explore these descriptors further by bringing together a variety of related resources from the web, such as news and Wikipedia articles. Let us focus on a seemingly odd descriptor, soil and green. What might the connection be to the healthcare reform? Looking at the related tweets, Wikipedia pages, and news articles, one can quickly make the connection. An analogy is being made between the government-regulated healthcare of today and the government-regulated society depicted in the 1973 movie Silent Green. The claim to fame of Twitteris is exactly this, putting all the information right where you need it. It is the ability to go beyond simply showing you trending phrases or popular search terms and helping you make these associations faster so you can appreciate what people are really talking about. To navigate to a date, click on the calendar 